Welcome to Data Doctor's Suggestions, Report, and Comments video. This index lists beginning times of each segment so you can fast forward to any of particular interest. Before discussing the Suggestions Report, you need to know how to access the Data Doctor's project page, which will take you to other pages referenced in this video. To get to the project page, go to the top right of almost any Wikitree screen and click on Find. From that drop-down menu, click on Projects. On the next screen, click on Data Doctors. You have to click again to get to the project page. And here it is. The Suggestions Report is used in order to improve a profile's information, sources, layout, and appearance. It is sorted by your managed profiles, criteria you set in Wikitree Plus, and other custom reports. The report is updated each Tuesday and available for you to compare with the profiles you manage. And you can use these suggestions for any open profile to help improve the tree's health. These are grouped by suggestion numbers. Clicking on the question mark will bring you to the help page for each specific suggestion. When choosing a profile, first click the status button on the report page to check the status history. Has anyone else already updated the suggestion? Are there other related suggestions? Then go to the profile to make the necessary improvements. After working on a profile, go back to the suggestions report and click on the status button again. On the next screen, the suggestion status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Then three more steps are required. First, consider the status options. Five are listed. Note that each suggestion has a list of comment hints you can use to leave a comment or you can make your own. These hints change with each suggestion number and status. Status 1. Comment. You have left a comment on the suggestions report with no changes made to the profile. Status 2. Not corrected. This is used to unset a previously set false suggestion. Status 3. Corrected. You have corrected the profile, which hides the suggestion until the next recheck. Then it doesn't exist or it is reshown if it was not properly corrected. Status 4. False suggestion. The information is intentional. For instance, an about date only on the 310 mother was dead before birth. Do not use this option unless you are absolutely sure that the profile information is correct. Status 5. Proposed merge. Research shows that a merge was in order and has been proposed. This suggestion will be hidden for 30 days to allow time for the merge to be completed. The second step is to select and enter the correct status. The third step is to update the status by clicking the Update button. This informs others what changes were made, when, and by whom. There are several ways to get to the suggestions report, and some are discussed here. Option 1. My Wikitree icon sorts by all profiles that you manage. This is where you check each Tuesday for updated suggestions about your managed profiles. From any page, click on My Wikitree. From the drop-down menu, click on Suggestions. There are none for my profiles today. Option 2. Any Wikitree ID icon sorts by suggestions for that person and their relatives. Click on the Wikitree ID and from the drop-down menu, click on Suggestions. The following report is generated of all suggestions for that person and up to eight generations. Option 3 involves working with the spreadsheet. From the Data Doctors Project page, click on Spreadsheet. The following screen shows each suggestion broken down into time categories and open or new profiles. As an example, look at the first one, Death in Future. It has 15 profiles with that suggestion. Scroll to the right and click on the underlined number 15. A narrow box with a URL appears, and a small arrow is on the far right. Click on the arrow to get to the profiles. Wikitree Plus is the last suggestion report discussed on this video. It allows you to customize a report for your particular criteria. From the Data Doctors Project page, click on the Wikitree Plus link. At first, the next screen only shows the list of options on the left to choose from. 
One way to use this feature is sorting by suggestion. From the drop-down menu, choose the suggestion you want to work with. Then choose how you want to search for it, by location, name, etc. To illustrate how to customize a report, click on All. At the open box for text, type Boston Smith and click Find Suggestions. Wikitree Plus generates a report based on these criteria and shows everything with both Boston and Smith that have suggestions, as seen on this screen. Now it's time to put all of this to use and improve a profile. Since we're already in Wikitree Plus, let's pick 104, Too Old. Next, search for the name Brown and click on Name Suggestions. There is a William Henry Brown, born in 1851 and died October 23, 1971, in Ohio, making him 120 years old. Before going further, click on Status on the far right to see if there are any other suggestions for this profile. There are none. Return to the Suggestions Report and click on his Wikitree ID to get to his profile. Read the profile for information and check his relatives. His father was born in 1796 and his wife in 1858, making his birth date of 1851 plausible, so it's likely his date of death is wrong. Next, research for documentation. On the top right, click on his ID link. From the drop-down menu, click on Research. The Root Search page, exclusive to Wikitree, has consolidated several genealogy sites for you to search from. For applicable, you need to be logged into those sites first. They are Ancestry.com, a paid site. Find a Grave, a free site. Family Search, a free site. Google Search, a free site. Find MyPast.co.uk, a paid site. And MyHeritage, with free basic membership available. This new screen brings over his pertinent profile information. To ensure good results, let's add his middle initial and delete the death date since it is inaccurate. Because Family Search is a free source, let's begin there. Note that before you can search Family Search records, you need to have an account. It shows several pages worth of documents for all William H. Browns born around the same time, but we are only interested in death records, so let's refine our search. Scroll down to Restrict Records By and click on Type. From that drop-down menu, click on Death. Below that, click on Update. Family Search generates another report, this time with fewer entries. Of our choices, the third one shows a man with a death date of October 23, 1917, not 1971. Swapping two numbers is a common mistake and the reason for this suggestion. On the far right, click on the document icon. The next page shows data that matches his profile. On the right, click on Document Information, which then shows citing this record. Leave it open and return to William's profile. On his page, click Edit. Correct the death year to 1917. In the biography, also change the death year. Return to the Family Search page and copy the source citation pasting it under the reference tag in Sources on Williams' page. Go to the middle of the page to explain your changes and do so. This is required for all data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor. Then from the Suggestion Status page, I copy the suggestion number and name. Lastly, I explained what was changed. In this case, I corrected a typo and added a source. Save the changes, then click on the public profile to make sure everything looks right. The dates are correct and the source is in the right place. Return to the suggestion status page and select a status. In this case, the date was corrected. I have to add my Wikitree ID before it will let me proceed. Leave a comment from the comment hints or make one of your own. When the suggestion status page is completed, Finish by checking Update Status. The Status History box shows up at the very last, showing this and all status updates for this profile, telling by whom and when the profile was modified. 